Now that we have a detected plane, the next step is going to be placing object into the plane. So we need to go to package manager one more time and we're going to install a new package. This is called XR interaction toolkit. So this toolkit is going to allow us to spawn object into the ground without writing any code, right? So it also going to allow us to basically add different sort of interaction such as scaling, rotation, translation, etc. So when the installation is done, click on backup. That's going to be a warning. Don't worry about it. And you can basically close this screen and we need to create a game object that is going to allow us to place objects. So go ahead, go to XR and create AR placement interactable. This component has all the necessary things that we need, but we need to basically tell the system which object that we want to place, right? So for this example, we can create a simple cube, but we're going to change it later on. Make sure the scale is smaller, 0.2 for my case, can change it to something else as well. One unit in unity means one meter in real world. So think it that way. So yeah, and then make a prefab out of the cube. I'm going to move all the prefab into a prefab folder to keep things organized and then we can get rid of the cube. Finally, drag and drop the cube in the placement prefab in the AR placement interactable. Now go to XR origin and add a Raycast manager. So AR Raycast manager. And we also need a gesture interactor that is going to allow us to do all the interaction that we get from the XR interaction manager. Now I have made a build of the project and we can see how it looks like. So as usual, we have the detected plane and if we tap on the ground, you can see we can spawn the cubes in the ground.